Matthew chapter number 16, verse number 12. Then understood they how he bade them not beware of the leaving of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. What doctrine is this? Well, if we go back to the very first, second, third, fourth, and fifth verses of this chapter, we can see how this all started. The Pharisees and the Sadducees had ganged up and got together and demanded his credentials. Give us a sign and show us by what authority that you can break all of our rules, that you can do all the things that you are doing. In other words, you prove to us who you are and we will obey you. And what did he say? He called them hypocrites because he gave them the sign of Jonas the prophet three days and three nights. As Jonah was in the belly of the fish, so would he be in the heart of the earth and he will rise again. He did just that. They still didn't believe. They even went to Pilate and asked for soldiers saying, this deceiver, when he was alive, said how he was going to rise again. They knew of the sign. And then when the soldiers told that they had saw the angels, they paid the soldiers off so that they could lie. Like the disciples stole the body. We can see here. When he called them hypocrites. He knew exactly. They did not want a sign. This was the doctrine of self-righteousness. Of the scribes and Pharisees. Protecting their own religious system. In verse number 12. The disciples finally understood it. And they understood, even though in verse 9, the master said they didn't understand. Even though in verse 11, how is it that you do not understand? But in verse 12, they understood that he wasn't talking about natural bread just because they forgot the bread. He spoke of the leaven or the leaven, that little leaven that causes decay. That causes mold. That little self-righteousness. Unrepented sin. Protecting our traditions. And our religious ceremonies. More so than the word of God. A little leaven. Will leaven a whole lump. Just a little leaven in the bread. Will make it rise. One bad apple can spread and spoil the whole bunch. And this is something we all have to be careful of. No matter who we are, we have to constantly humble ourselves under the word of God. Not taking our thoughts above the word of God. Not taking our ideas above the word of God. But the word of God is supreme. God, we bless you. We ask that you have your way. Thank God.